Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our Shotsuki service for the month of March. Nice to have everyone here and there able to join us for this service today. I would like to start by introducing you to our chairpersons for today. You might recognize today, as you can see, the Sloth family has joined us again for this month's Shotsuki service. It's always nice to have them here. Um, they like to go visiting here and there, but they always make a point to come back for our Shotsuki services. And Sadie and Sho and Baby Tsuki are all here. And I'm going to share a little bit. You know, Mama Sho shared some words and, and hope you don't get embarrassed, Sho. But, but she said, Sensei, I was really, really appreciate your teaching us about the Shotsuki service and how much it means and can mean to our families and I didn't really understand other than just respecting, paying respect for for our parents and grandparents and things but through that you connect to everything else and this is what you're saying is Amida. So when I think about it in that manner the interconnection grows and grows and the meaning of the Nembutsu seems to get deeper and deeper and I really appreciate that. And so this is a growing process, like you say, and I'm so happy that we can learn about it and to enjoy it together as a family. So those were very nice words for Mama Sho to share. We're happy that she's, they're all here for our service today. As you can see, uh, mom and dad have their masks on, continuing to be careful. So uh, baby Tsuki is still too little to wear the mask, but they all have their onenju, so they are ready for service. So for today's service, I'd like to go through the service order with you. We will have the reading of the Hyogakumon adorations, and then the reading of the Shotsuki names for this month. After this, I will go to my seat on the onaijin and we will chant the Sambujo and half the Amida Kyo. Nembutsu and Ekoku will complete the chanting portion of the service and then I'll return here for the Dharma message. So during the reading of the names, please come up and Oshoko, however you have set up to do in your homes. Please join me in Gassho and we will begin. Hyogakumon. Today, on this occasion of the Shotsuki service for the month of March, members and family of our temples have reverently come before Amida Buddha in memory of their beloved. With deepest reverence and thankfulness for the all embracing wisdom and compassion of Amida, we reaffirm the three homages Namukie Butsu, Namukie Ho, Namukie So. I go to the Buddha for guidance. I go to the Dharma for guidance. I go to the Sangha for guidance. Please repeat the Nembutsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Namanda, 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 Namanda. These are the Shotsuki names for the month of March. Akinaga, Teruo, Arai, Infant, Baba, Haruye, Baba, Helen, Date, Chio, Dylan, Toshie, Dor, Jean, Eves, Ruby, Fukayama, George, Fukuma, Yone, Fujita, Konshiro, Furono, Shigeru, Hashimoto, Noriaki, Higake, Hitoko, Higashi, Otomatsu, Hirakawa, Saburo, Hirai, Hirao, Shichibei, Hitomi, Tomoe, Hiyama, Eikichi, Ishida, Sachiko, Ishikawa, Santaro, Iwahashi, Noboru, Iwahashi, Setsuko, Iwahashi, Shizuko, Kaito, Seijiro, Kakimoto, Misao, Kakimoto, Ochio, Kamiji, Infant, Yuzuru, Kawabata, Setsuko, Kawabata, Toshiro,
Kawakami, Chiono, Kitajima, Infant, Yuriko, Koga, Saburo, Konishi, Mitsue, Konishi, Toshio, Kono, Tom, Kuge, Teru, Kusama, Asao, Kuano, Asono, Kuano, Denzaburo, Kuano, Infant, Ken, Maeda, Rutaro, Matsui, Kojiro, Matsuo, Hisao, Mune, Infant, Mitsue, Murakoshi, Infant, Shizuo, Masuda, Muneto, Matsuura, Sachi, Naito, Teruko, Nagahisa, Hideno, Nakagawara, Hisakazu, Nakamura, Infant, Mitsuko, Nakano, Etsuko, Nakano, Kenji, Nakano, Infant, Masami, Narahara, John, Etsuko, Nizawa, Yoshi, Nishi, Infant, Sadako, Nishi, Sadasuke, Nishiyama, Takino, Nomura, George, Masaki, Nomura, Seki, Okamoto, Bunjiro, Okamoto, Infant, Toshio, Okami, Jinzaburo, Otsu, Yoshino, Sadamune, Kata, Sakaguchi, Chioe, Shigemoto, Joan, Shiota, Shuzo, Soga, Sawa, Tabuchi, Infant, Kaneko, Takagi, Kumagoro, Takayama, Hiroshi, Tajima, Hikoichi, Tateyama, Kinzo, Terao, Hisashi, Tesh, Mathilde, Suboi, Infant, Masaji, Tsuchiya, Tadashi, Uchiyama, Aisuke, Utsurogi, Mamoru, Bab, Wada, Jun, Wada, Yoshie, Yamagami, Kichue, Kichuemon, Yamashita, Matsuzo, Yamashita, Takeshi, Yamashita, Toshiko, Yamamoto, Hatsuno, Yamato, Tetsuo, Yanagi, Ta, Tomi, Yano, Tokyo. These are the Shotsuki names for the month of March. If there are additions or corrections, please notify the office. Now we'll have Sutra chanting Sambujo and Amida Kyo.
節阿弥陀教
so many here and there at this uh, Shotsuki service for March. You know, just last weekend we had our annual BCA ministers meetings and national council meetings and uh, for the first time doing it on Zoom and, and uh, virtual meetings and services and such and I hope many of you were able to, to view the portions that were open to the general public and, and linked on to see what was there. Um, <clears throat> very special. And some of these things generally I always like to reflect upon some of the things that happened during the National Council meetings, just so our Sangha members would know some of the things that happened during that weekend. And at the end of the service, we had our Eitai Kyo service and the beginning scene. You could hear the kansho ringing, just like we start our services on Sunday. And they had an image of the Koma Cemetery. Maybe uh, many of you have been there, but the huge stone standing there that says Namwami Dawutsu. And next to this uh, central stone on each side are the names carved into stone of all the ministers that have served at BCA. And I don't remember who it was, but one of the one of our ministers, when they had occasion to have a service there, uh, ringing the bell, chanting Ju Sege or whatever they chanted that day, he was expressing that he could feel the weight, the depth, and the power. All those names, all through the history of BCA, uh, printed on those stones and standing there chanting right there at that site, in a sense, along with them. So he felt a heaviness to the service that he was able to share with others on that day. Other occasions, I remember my wife, Charmin, was taking a math class and they have a field trip that goes to Colma and now Reverend Candace, she was not Reverend then, but Candace Shibata 
was there and her grandfather's name is one of those ministers names on the stones and as they're chanting just tears just running down her face uh, so touched that she could be there in a sense in the presence of her grandfather in connection to all this history of Nembutsu in, in America and so to start the Eitaikyo service with that scene and those memories for myself and for many people I think it was very very fitting and touching and one other portion of the service I hope you were able to to connect and view the talk that was provided by Regina Boone she was our special speaker and if you don't know her story please please uh, go onto your computer search engine and print out enter Regina Boone NHK and a special I think it's shorter than an hour but her story to search for her grandfather it's a very touching story she is a black American and then we find out she's part Japanese and so on her she was a photojournalist and her father also was a newspaper journalist and had started some uh, black newspapers out in his their area and so on his deathbed he asked her now find out about your grandfather and he had never spoken about his father who had left the family when he was just three years old so he grew up without a father present in his life and he never spoke about it never spoke about it and so she no one in the family knew what happened to to the her grandfather uh, her dad's dad but this person was an Ise and had come to America uh, Tsuruju Miyazaki came to America when he was 16 years old and uh, did this and that trying to find his way in America became a cook and opened a restaurant and as he was working the restaurant he was able to meet this black woman who he fell in love with they fell in love and and had two sons so they lived upstairs on this restaurant and and he cooked worked very hard to keep his restaurant going and it became a very popular place so after the Pearl Harbor attack uh, Suruju was taken away arrested as an alien enemy like a lot of our relatives were and so he was taken away and never could get back to see his family again and while he was gone every time he would have to fill out papers or, or uh, be asked questions he would always insist claim that he was single that he had no family he was there in America alone and so uh, Regina figured he was doing this to protect the family to keep them from having showing their connections of being Japanese in such a uh, racially charged time in American history so with this a little bit of story she went to research her father grandfather's life and found eventually found funeral records that were located at the Midwest Buddhist Temple in Chicago, a PCA temple. Reverend Ron Miyamura is there. So she met Reverend Ron and, and he took her to show the temple death records like all our temples keep. And it showed that he would pass away on such and such a day. He had passed away at the age of 46 with ill from tuberculosis. And so it was very touching that Reverend Ron was showing her these records that they have uh, that Reverend Kono at the time had kept her in their death records at the temple. And so with all this little by little more information, more information that she was able to uncover and gather about Grandpa. And so she decided with this information, she would go to Japan and try to find that part of her family. and. Uh, television stations, NHK in, in Japan, uh, caught wind of her story and her search. And so they announced on their program, uh, the picture and the name of Suruju. Uh, and so the word got out on the news and people were talking about this 
story about the lady from America coming to find family in Japan and the name and such. And so the very next day when she got to Japan, someone had, had noticed, so oh, I think that's our relative and came to meet her at the train station. And so it was so touching that, that uh, they came to meet her. And so she was able to meet, they would be her aunts, I believe. So they were elder Suriju's nieces. So they were in their early, one was early 90s, one was late 80s. And so they came to meet Regina. And so this heartfelt, tearful meeting of these people from across the world. Okay, and so they went to the house and sharing stories and, and they took her to the Obutsudan and tucked into the Obutsudan was a picture of grandpa. And so they brought it out and she was she cheerful and crying and said, let me show you my picture. And it's the exact same picture that she's been carrying and carrying as she's gone through all of this search. The same picture of uh, Tsuruju uh, Miyazaki. And so everyone was in tears looking at this and so grateful that they were able to meet each other in, in such a manner. So uh, probably the next day or later that day, the family took her to uh, the family plot in cemetery nearby. They walked over there and they pointed out the name of her grandfather on the side of the stone and more tears that they were able to share. And this is the end of the, the NHK presentation that I just watched again yesterday. And so at the end of this, she's standing by the water in Nagasaki and envisioning that this is the point that he would have left Japan at the age of 16. And she was reflecting, had he not left from this point, I would not be here at this point today. And I wanted to share this story about Regina Boone because this is a Shotsuki story. We each have a story that we reconnect to each time we have a service, a Shotsuki service, to remember those who have helped to carve the way of our own paths. So this happens in her story, very touching story, but we have our own stories and we remember this and we tie each other together. Parents can explain and share stories of people we have lost to their children so they know and they have an appreciation of our Shotsuki service, our Shotsuki tradition. Not every uh, religion or Buddhist school tries to maintain these Shotsuki services and, and like the Sloth family has recognized that it is very special. It is very special. And so for us to be here and to share what a Shotsuki service is and to connect ourselves to our own story and through the, that not only to our families but to all these infinite connections that crisscross and connect all the way around the world, including the infinite universe and more. And all of these things that connect us to what we come to recognize as Amida Buddha, come to uh, connect to through Namo Amida Butsu. So thank you very much for, sh for allowing me to share this Shotsuki story today, the story of Regina Boone. If you haven't seen her documentaries, uh, please, Look it up, look it up. It's worth your time. It's worth your time. So we'll conclude this with Gasho. Please join me. No more we don't. 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 All right. Thank you for joining us for this Shotsuki service today. Uh, please come up in Oshoko here or there at your homes, however you have set up to do with flower petals, rock pebbles. Uh, incense, marbles, whatever you have that is uh, safe and careful for your own family settings. And we will be here again with our future services. So let's conclude again. No more we don't. No more we don't. No more we don't. No more no, no more no, no more.
Thank you for being here. Thank you. Namanda, Namanda.